Hey YouTube and uh, Facebook fans. So it's uh, about 10 after 5 in the morning and I've just gotten off work. And uh, sorry for the glare, but uh, unlike my wife, I can't take my glasses off and still, still see crap. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we moved. Uh, we're out of the two bedroom townhouse and we're in a two bedroom apartment. Actually, it's just the apartments we used to live in a couple of years ago before we moved out. And uh, things are going pretty good. Um, I've got a new job. I'm working for actually the complex we live in, doing in house security for them. And I think it's one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, it's been about a year since I did a video, so I'll try to summarize everything I can within the allotted time. <laughs> um, so back when I started doing the video logs I was working for Windsor Security and though the contract that I was on, the shift that I was on, the guy came back from holidays and so I was basically temporarily laid off because um, I didn't have any didn't have any work, which was fine. And then uh, I wasn't about to sit around and wait for them to give me hours because, you know, as you know, two kids need to have food and clothes and everything else and bills, rent, blah, blah, blah. So then I decided to look for other work. So then I got hired with Commissionaires BC and worked for them for about five months. And it was, it was interesting would be what I, the word I would use to suffice. Um, basically, I was a glorified babysitter at the site I worked at, walked around and you know, made sure people weren't doing stupid stuff. And then uh, an incident occurred, and uh, I decided basically, you know, they weren't for me. Um, didn't have any bearing on, you know, what happened with the incident per se, but uh, was definitely a deciding factor. Okay, who am I kidding? It was. <laughs> Um, while I was working for them, I went and took my advanced security training course, um, which allowed me to carry uh, restraints. Long story short, um, they basically were all like, oh, we don't condone the use of batons or handcuffs, etc., etc. And I was kind of like, well, first of all, I'm licensed to carry and use these should I need to. And, you know, you guys are more worried about your public image than anything else. So, I left. And then the ironic thing about it all is an hour after I got let go from them, I was hired with uh, Genesis Security, and they were awesome. I got hours whenever I needed it. Um, I worked at a hotel that was being renovated in Vancouver, and uh, it was great. You know, Monday to Friday, uh, it was the afternoon shift, so I worked from like 3 to 11, and then I'd get home at like, you know... Uh, 12, 31 o'clock. Um, so that was great. That gave us some good money. And then I picked up extra shifts here and there with them doing events at BC Place uh, for a football game and a couple other stuff. Um, I also worked for another company doing live at Squamish, and that was that was just horrendous. You know, 65 guards and half of them don't have radios. Well, how are you supposed to communicate? You know. Um, and then when the contract with Genesis ended because the company or the contract that they had with the hotel, the hotel decided to cancel it. My theory is that they decided to go with somebody else, but anyways, um, I was, again, found myself out of work, but luckily enough, the complex that we're living in was looking for in-house security, which, as we all know in this industry, pays more, um, and I got hired started November 1st and uh, they're really happy with the work I'm doing I really enjoy it. it's good good money good benefits well when they kick in in January <laughs> um, it'll be really good I'm not having to commute anymore so I'm saving myself like 81 bucks a month for that which is awesome um, and it's a pretty easy gig you know I walk around all night make sure nobody's got loud music or what have you on and I love it my Amanda loves the fact that I'm so close to home and if she needs me she can just call me and I can jet home. Um, 
the kids are doing great. Xander's now three and is your typical three-year-old pushing the envelope to see how far he can push us and has his little Mr. Attitude type thing and uh, constantly questioning you know everything and, and not so much in a bad way but just you know your typical three-year-old wanting to know everything and wanting to know what's going on and, and what have you and uh, Ella she's now what is she now 19 months no she's 20 months now 20 months old almost two and uh, talking like crazy you know some of it's babble talk but a lot of it is you know clear things like mom dad grandma papa Baba, stuff like that, and uh, yeah, the cute as a dickens, both the kids. And let's see what else. Um, Amanda and I went up to Whistler for our two-year wedding anniversary this past July, and we took the Rocky Mountaineer train up, and that was just that was wonderful. Great four days of relaxation and hot tubbing, and we went horseback riding up there, and that was I had a blast doing that. I mean, my ass was sore after that, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, on the way home, we got first class, so it was basically open bar. <laughs> so we made quite good use of that. We were a little bit tipsy when we got off the train, but that was okay. And uh, what else? Um, not much else. It's uh, getting up to be Christmas time again, so I'll probably do another video log uh, in the next little while. If any of you have any questions, you know, what it's like to be a security guard or uh, work in-house or you work in a contract, uh, or excuse me, you work with a contract security company right now and you want to know how to get into in-house or you have any questions in general about me and Amanda or the kids, let me know. Post it uh, down below and I will uh, respond. Alright, see you later.